Former Prime Minister Imran Khan, illegally incarcerated now for 277 days, has said his proposal for talks between his political party and the country's military establishment was for the sake of the country. Imran Khan slammed the military's spokesman, General Ahmed Sharif, who suggested that Imran Khan apologize. Imran Khan said, and quote, I am the one who should be apologized to. The army should not drag itself into politics." Unquote. Imran Khan revealed today that members of Muslim League Noon, the party chosen by the military establishment to rule the country while it steers it from behind the scenes, told him months ago that elections would only take place once Qazi Faizi Saab becomes the chief justice. Imran Khan, in a statement once again, questioned how the security of military buildings was removed while lamenting the murder of unarmed political workers last year on May 9th. The Islamabad High Court on Wednesday approved the petition of former Prime Minister Imran Khan's wife, Bushra Bibi, seeking her transfer from a dingy room in solitary confinement, which had been declared a sub-jail, to a Diala jail as per the jail manual. Bushra Bibi has been illegally held now for over three months and has developed serious medical complications from chemical-laced food that she was given by the jail authorities. Bushra Bibi is incarcerated in a vile, first-of-its-kind, bizarre, illegal marriage case. Her appeal was due to be heard to be announced by a session judge who mysteriously went on leave and the case was adjourned. Pakistan's senior judiciary has revealed threats by the country's powerful military intelligence agencies to decide cases against Imran Khan and his party officials. The Afghan National Defense Ministry has issued a statement rejecting the claims made by the Director General of Inter-Services Public Relations of the Pakistani Armed Forces during yesterday's press conference. The ministry dismissed allegations that Afghan soil is being used for militant activities against Pakistan, terming them as far from reality. The statement emphasized that the stability and security of Pakistan are in the interest of Afghanistan and the region. The IMF, which is essentially preparing Pakistan's budget, has proposed further taxation of the salaried class as it lowers the threshold for highest tax rate. These recommendations are part of the IMF's plan to recover about 650 billion rupees additional from salaried and business income individuals in a move that would further crush these fixed income people, said Express Tribune, which reported on the IMF's proposal. In its set of recommendations for the budget 2025, the IMF has also asked Pakistan to withdraw all income tax tax credits and allowances particularly available to teachers and researchers. It wants an end to an education expense allowance and workers' welfare fund-related tax credits. Pakistan desperately needs a new IMF program as the economy has collapsed under the military-backed regime over the past 24 months. A third mass grave has been discovered in the ruins of Gaza's Al-Shifa Hospital, the largest medical complex in the Palestinian enclave. At least 49 bodies have been recovered so far from the mass grave. The government media office in Gaza said on Wednesday, government crews are still recovering more bodies until now. The exhumation operations have not finished and we expect to find dozens of new bodies. Footage shared online by local journalists showed bodies being uncovered and examined by civil defense teams amid the wreckage of the medical facility which has been ravaged by Israeli attacks. Israel has killed over 34,000 Palestinians since October 7, mostly women and children.